This town hall meeting is the 21st in a series of town hall meetings, which was kickstarted in 2016. This edition focuses on the massive infrastructure development of the present administration. Setting the stage is the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning. She began with half funds assessed and used, pointing at revenue generated and loans sourced locally and foreign. She disclosed that what the federal government raises and what it borrows are judiciously used. Some of the key infrastructures that have been funded by external loans include the Zungeru Hydropower Plant Project, which was uh, a loan of 984 million US dollars, the Lagos Ibadan Railway Project at 1.26 billion US dollars, the upgrading and rehabilitation of the Kefi Akwanga Lafia Road Project at 460 million US dollars, the supply of rolling stock and depot equipment for the Abuja Light Rail uh, Project Phase 1, 164 million US dollars, the NICTI project, this is an infrastructure, ICT infrastructure backbone, the, ga the galaxy backbone, uh, in the sum of 328 million US dollars. We have also the four airport terminal expansion projects, phase two, in the sum of 208.91 million US dollars, ancillary works for the, the same four airports, in the sum of 183.62 million dollars. These are all ongoing projects. Comparing budgetary allocation for works as of 2015 December, which stood at a paltry 19.8 billion naira, some sector had over 300 billion naira budgetary allocation for the year 2021. And for 2022, over 530 billion naira has been budgeted. For works and housing, the minister in his presentation told the path of testimonials where Nigerians across the country acknowledged the great work done by this administration. These are the people directly impacted by the road. A driver, Anor Muhammad, quote, this is my regular route. I frequently ply this Dusi Meduguri road. Eight years ago, this road was a single lane and it was an accident prone road. But since the completion of the dualization, accidents have been, accidents have been reduced to the barest minimum. President Muhammadu Buhari is God sent, end of quote. So the Executive Director of National Institute for Nigerian Languages in Abia State, Professor Biajulu Elume Julu, this is what he said. This intervention is unprecedented. It has indeed raised the profile of our institute and confirmed to the naysayers that we are also a federal government owned tertiary institution, end of quote. Most delighting, he noted, is the second Niger Bridge, the Boni Bodo Bridge, Abuja Kaduna Zaria Kano Expressway, and that of Lagos to Ibadan. For the Minister of State for Power, it couldn't have been this good if not for the present administration under President Muhammad Buhari. Mambila has been on since 1982, you recall? Mambila has been on since 82, but it's going to be it's on, going to on now. So, also, is the IPP project. Uh, which Siemens is running. The Siemens is a German government-led organization which has partnered with us to provide electricity in sufficient policy, um, quantity to improve our services to the Nigerian people. That also is through the courtesy of the approval of Mr. President. If he didn't approve that, it wouldn't go through. In all of these submissions, convener of the town hall meeting series and minister of information and culture, Lai Mohammed, was emphatic about the huge investment in infrastructure, saying it is worth it. I'm sure you all agree with me that what we hear is that this government is boring, boring, boring. I think today you've heard not only what the government is doing with borrowing, but also the impact of the borrowing on our people. In other words, we borrow to provide roads, to provide power, to provide bridges, to provide airports, provide water, and transportation. And of course, it's, when we do that, people are happier, the economy grows and more people are employed. The next town hall meeting series is scheduled 
for the 24th of March. In Abuja, Anthony Forson, NTA News.